what happens if we scale up demand with with heat pumps and e and EVs, and this idea that that it, we we in the West still think that the emerging you know global South the emerging markets will copy uh, our progress through fossil fuels is not playing out in reality, is it? Yeah, I mean it's quite patronizing actually the the, the idea that you know that they're going to make the same mistakes we made forty years ago. Um, uh, look, I mean the same way as every other um c c country or every other technology ship people will do whatever suits them in the moment and and therefore they will embrace and and deploy the cheapest technology which they can buy in 2025 and that just so happens in 2025 cheapest technology is solar and wind electrification technologies so that's what people are doing and what we found and we did this quite interesting analysis and to our astonishment we found that actually this 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 leapfrog is happening far quicker than anyone expected. So if you take the internet, there are these very clear lines of, of internet deployment, uh, uh, the share of population uh, which is using the internet. And you get an absolutely classic line, the US is first, and then it's Japan, and then uh, it's Europe, and then it's China, and you know, then it's South America. And you know, eventually at the bottom, you've got sadly, um, you know, uh, regions like Southeast Asia or Africa, or South Asia or Africa. Um, this time round, folks, it's quite different.